Model Mine 72 here, um, straight out of the Wicked Wizard Garage. This is going to be my first release of 2013. This is a special tribute build to my wife. This is an anniversary present uh, for 15 years of marriage come uh, February 14th this year. Um, that's the deadline. I started this project back in uh, 2012. Somewhere around the time that I was building uh, uh, The Lady in Blue, my wife bought this kit for me. Uh, 1955 Ford pickup street ride by Reveal and uh, the 56 is one of my favorite body styles um, and I had one when I was a kid this one right here is kind of like the closest thing that I've built as an adult to that one so anytime somebody special buys you a kit guys you know how um, you know special that is so this is a special build it really needs to be on the bench for another year to get it exactly the way I want it but um, I'm going to gift it this year the way she sets and um, when I get time I'll come back in and do um, all the other ideals that I had planned for it's just the deadline is it's just um, it's here so I gotta do what I gotta do basically I took the, the 55 step side and I uh, kit bashed it with the reveal Motor City Muscle 1970 Boss 429 Mustang 3-in-1 so without further ado the name of this project is Divine Sunrise Divine Sunrise, 1955 Ford, Stepside, Street Rod, basically uh, this is a very, very special build to me, I'm really honored to you know, be able to build it and, and give it to her as an anniversary present. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this and kind of explain a little bit about um, the build and, and what's going on. We got uh, on the paint. We've got the base coat was a it was actually a, a rustoleum orange that I did um, the um, autism awareness build in, and then over the top of that. We have a, a Model Masters uh, Red Pearl Sunrise, which this camera, I I'm honestly believe that it cannot capture the, the pearl in this. I'm hoping that the pictures will when I do the slideshow later. But um, it's just absolutely beautiful color, guys. Um, just absolutely amazing. In person, it is, it is absolutely stunning, um, this truck. And, and actually, the paint came out um, you know, absolutely perfect uh, to me. The only problem was, was at the last minute, I had a, a, a body modification. I actually took the fenders and popped them off and dropped them down to get the, the body line look that I was looking for. But by doing that, I had glue marks left over. So at some point, I might have to go in and pop the fenders off, uh, sand the glue marks down and repaint it which that's a custom mixed paint so you can understand the process and how long that's going to take but in time I will come back and you know and do that with the other things that um, I haven't been able to get to yet but basically we got the um, we have a, a scratch built billet grill that's been uh, powder coated in white 
um, the uh, the interior is actually a white felt cloth interior. It has the the naked uh, 1970 uh, Boss Mustang bucket seats in there with um, glitter effects, um, folk art glitter, extreme extreme glitter combined with um, pure ice nail polish from my wife's collection and um, a lot of things like that are throughout this whole build you know personal things from her and whatnot to um, you know to make it more personal the dash is out of the 1970 Mustang um, it's you know basically naked styrene with um, the folk art extreme glitter and the pure ice nail polish inserts with the gold gauges like 24 karat gold plated gauges and gold steering wheel there's um, a, actually a gold glitter box speaker speaker box that's um, on the inside of the doors and has um, scratch built speakers in there I need to do a little bit more on the floor with the um, interior I need to do a gear shift and um, maybe um, uh, a, a, a CD player but other than that you know it's it's basically done in there the mirrors I need to put the mirrors side mirrors on um, we got the wheels out of the 70 boss um, Mustang 429 from the wheels there Uh, we got the Banco O-rings for the, the wheels, and then we got the, the chrome rims with the naked styrene backs from the Mustang kit. So out back here, we got um, a lot of these things um, are metaphors for your significant other or your lover. Um, so you just have to kind of use your imagination but the tail lights are 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 tail lights and I don't know if you know too much about uh, 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 tail lights but to me they, they kind of resemble something um, the back is actually look in there it's a mirror bed so we got a mirror bed with a fire extinguisher. And uh, anytime you have a mirror bed, you got to have a fire extinguisher within reach. Just trust me on that one. Uh, we got the Ford uh, gold plated lines. Actually, this the back bumper was the front bumper and the kit flipped upside down. And mount it inside the fenders to get a custom rear bumper like that. Absolutely stunning paint job on this on this one, guys. Absolutely stunning. So we're gonna pop the hood here. Basically, we got basically we got the four twenty nine out of the uh, Mustang. It's wired up. I'm still not uh, sure if I'm going to run a blower or if I'm going to leave open carbs 